Hi everyone, today we are going to solve the lead code question Pascal's triangle. So you are given integer num rows, return the first num rows of Pascal's triangle. In Pascal's triangle, each number is the sum of the two numbers directly above it as shown. So let's see the example. You are given num rows equal 5 and the output is like this. Now actually this picture. So in the first row, um, uh, you can see 1. Uh, because uh, there's no uh, number on the left side and the right side because uh, this is the first um, row so we don't do anything and uh, look at the second row so from this position uh, there is no number on the left side but uh, you can see the one on the right side so that's why this position uh, is one in the same thing from this position you can see the one on the left side but uh, there is no number on the right side. So that's why this position is also 1. And I look at the third row and from this position. So um, there is no number on the left side, but uh, you can see the uh, 1 on the right side. So that's why this position is 1. And I look at uh, this position, center of third row. And uh, now uh, you can see uh, the 1 on the left side. And then you can also see the one on the right side. So that's why our total number should be two here. And then uh, from this position, and uh, you can see the left, uh, you can see the one on the left, left side, and uh, there's no number on the right side. So that's why um, this position should be one. Yeah, and uh, we do the say, same thing. And then in the end, uh, we can uh, get uh, this uh, Pascal's triangle. And this question is actually uh, very simple. Um, so, okay, let's look at the fourth, uh, fourth row. And uh, fourth row has like one, three, three, one. Um, because uh, from this position, uh, you can see the one on the uh, right side but uh, there's no number on the left side so that's why uh, this position is one and from this position one plus two and three from this position two plus one equals three and then from this position one plus uh, there's no value here so that's why um, this position is one and uh, i think uh, uh, these three position from this three position uh, it's easy because uh, um, you can see the uh, numbers on the like uh, left side and the right side but uh, how can we um, uh, so uh, how, how can we calculate uh, uh, on the like uh, edge of both sides um, so because uh, there is no numbers here and there is no number here so how? So I think a simplest way uh, is um, just add zero here and uh, here. So um, when we calculate uh, uh, e, uh, calculate uh, each position uh, in the fourth row, um, add zero to the uh, head of um, third row and. Uh, end of third row so that uh, we can avoid uh, like uh, out of bounds or something um, unexpected error so so zero means nothing so that's why um if uh, it's equal to uh, like uh, there is no number here and so that's why in this case uh, zero plus one and one and then uh, one plus two and three and two plus one and three and then one plus zero and three uh one so i think uh, uh this zero uh, makes the program easier for us so that is our basic idea to solve this question uh, with that being said let's get into the code Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, initialize with result variable with like a 2D array and a 1. And then start looping for underscore in range and then num 
rows minus one. And uh, first of all, create a uh, um, row with uh, double zero. So let's call it like a dummy, dummy row equal um, zero plus result minus one plus zero. So this result minus one is um, uh, the row uh, right above current row. So if you are uh, in the second row, uh, we, this means uh, like a first row. And uh, add double zero uh, to head and uh, end. And then uh, initialize row with empty list. And uh, we need another for loop for i in range. And uh, length of um, result minus one because we have to uh, add numbers and uh, but we need a plus one uh, to reach the uh, end of zero this one and then after that row dot append and the uh, calculation is very easy just a dummy row not, uh, and i plus dummy row i plus one and then after that just add uh, row to uh, result variable so less dot append and the row yeah actually um, that's it after that just return result variable yeah so let me submit it Looks good, and the uh, time complexity of this solution should be uh, order of uh, n squares because uh, we iterate through all rows, and uh, which is a uh, uh, n, and uh, um, another we have another for loop uh, to iterate through all numbers in a row, so which is a uh, n. So n multiply n, uh, which is a uh, on square, and uh, space complexity is also uh, order of n squares because uh, we have a two D array. Yeah, so let me summarize step by step algorithm. This is a step by step algorithm of Pascal's triangle. Step one initialize 2d array with one step two start looping create a dummy row with adding two zeros as the numbers on the left and the right step three return 2d array yeah i hope this video helps you understand this question well if you like it please subscribe the channel hit the like button or leave a comment i'll see you in the next question